Some people who have heard just a little bit about cryonics assume that it is merely science fiction. Their perception of cryopreservation and suspended animation may be dominated by what they've seen in movies. There's certainly no shortage of them. 2001, A Space Odyssey, Austin Powers, Alien, Vanilla Sky, Sleeper, Forever Young, Avatar, The Empire Strikes Back, and so on. It may come as a surprise to learn that cryonics is real, although it does look different from most fictional portrayals. In fact, the first cryopreservation of a person took place back in 1967. That man, Dr. James Bedford, continues to be cared for by the Alcor Foundation, which took over that responsibility. Alcor itself was founded in 1972 and has operated continuously ever since, growing in size and sophistication over the years. Rather than being far-fetched science fiction, cryonics is real and rather less fantastic than you might think at first. Cryonics is, in essence, merely an extension of emergency medicine. It aims to take over when today's medical capabilities reach their limits and to stop patients getting worse, giving them a chance to be repaired and revived by more advanced capabilities in the future. If you wonder just how real cryonics is, please take a look around Alcor's very extensive website. Check out the section on Alcor in the news. Check out the video tours of the facility and read the fact for scientific, organizational, financial and other background. You can see the reality of cryonics for yourself if you are in the Phoenix Scottsdale area of Arizona. You are welcome to schedule a tour or visit Alcor's facility in Scottsdale. Just contact us for more information or use our online tour reservation form. The question, is cryonics for real, may also mean, does the process work? Our website and other videos in this series can answer that question. Finally, the question, is cryonics for real, may also mean, are the people running the organizations for real? Do they really believe in it, or is it just a business? Anyone who knows much at all about the history of cryonics knows that if your main goal is to make money, cryonics is a bad choice of business and immensely difficult to market. The Alcor Foundation is run by people who are personally committed to the idea and who expect to need it to work for themselves and their loved ones. All members of Alcor's board of directors and the core personnel are cryopreservation members of Alcor. I first made arrangements with Alcor back in 1986. The five people who sit on the Patient Care Trust Board are all required to be cryopreservation members, and three of them must have a relative or significant other currently in cryopreservation. I'm Max Moore. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it interesting, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our website, and consider becoming an associate member.